Hello friends, welcome to our channel Code Library. So today we are going to discuss DQ and QSTL. So if you are new to our channel, please subscribe, like and share and please press the bell icon to get the regular updates. So without wasting any time, let's start. So let's start. So the first topic which we are going to discuss is queue. What is queue? A queue is a container which follows first in first out operation. It means that the element inserted first is deleted first. Okay. So in queue, what we can do that element is inserted at the back and in the queue, we can delete an element from the front. So there are various functions which can be used in queue. Let's see all the STL functions of queue. There are, I have listed here the six functions. So the first function is first, let's see how to take queue. So we can write queue and queue. So like this, we can take queue. Though what I told you that in queue, we can insert an element at the back and we can delete an element from the front. So the first function is queue that is push and second is pop. Push means that we can insert an element in the queue at the back and pop means we can we can delete an element from the front. So let's take an example. Let's implement here. We can take queue dot push one. It means that one element is inserted in the queue. Let's insert some more elements to q.push3. It means that one is inserted first, then two is inserted, then three is inserted. I can show you here how it's working. So let's take an example. We are having q with three, a three position. First, we have inserted one. So we are inserting from at the back. So one is inserted. Then we have wrote two. So q dot push two, and then we have written q dot push three. So like this, we have inserted three elements in the queue. If we want to delete an element, then we can delete an element from the front. That is pop operation we are going to use. So here, first of all, let me show you the size of the queue. What is the size of the queue? Here we can see that the size function is also there. So by writing queue dot size, we can get the size. So let's print this out. We have three elements. We can see that the output will be three. So you can see here the output is three. Now we are going to first of all, let me show you what is front and what is back. Then I'm coming to pop operation. So what front and back function will do front will return the front element of the queue means the first element of the queue and back will return the last element of the queue. Okay. So if we want the front element, you can see that the elements in the queue are one, two and three means like this one, one, two and three. So if we will write Q dot front, then we will get one. And if we will write Q dot back, then we will get three. Let's check if it's working or not. So we are going to write C out Q dot front. And we are going to write Q dot back. So if we will run our code, and we can see that front will be one and back will be three because front of uh, the element which is there in front is one and the element which is there in the back is three. Okay. So we have seen push size front back empty. You all know that I have told you in the previous videos also that empty basically check whether the queue is empty or not. So uh, here we can see that there are three elements. So if we will write C out Q dot empty. So now the queue is not empty. So the output will be zero. It means that the queue is not empty. So now we are going to see how the pop operation is going to work. So let's take an example. We have already taken one, two, three. So we are going to run a while loop while not Q dot empty. It means that the while loop will run till Q is not empty. Now we can take, we can take C out Q dot front. 
it means that the first element will be printed means the front what the front does it gives the front element of the queue so uh, if you have written c out queue dot front the front element will be printed and now we have to delete the element from the uh, from the front so we'll write queue dot pop it means that the uh, element will be deleted from the front now if you will run this code the output will be one two and three you can see that we have printed one then we have pop out one again we are going to print two then we are going to pop out two now element the remaining element is three now we are going to print three and now uh, three will be, we will three we will pop out three now q is empty so we will come out of this loop so like this these are the operation which we are going to use in q now the second operation the second fun uh, stl which we are going to discuss is dq so what is dq dq is also a container which can expand and contract from both front and back side it means that we can the it is an upgraded version of queue in the queue only the push and pop function means we can push an element at the back and pop an element from the front but in dq uh, more operations are available it means that we can push an element at the back and push an element from the at the at the front and we can also pop an element from the back as well as from the front and let's check how we can implement dq it means that we will take dq sorry d e q u e int q we, like this we will take dq and now we are going to insert some elements it means that let me show you an example first of all let me erase this so let's take a dq and we can insert an element from here also we can insert an element from here also we can delete an element from here also we can delete an element from here also so if we are inserting from the back so we will write q dot push back one it means that only one is there in q okay if we write again push back two it means that first one was there and two is inserted at the back now we are inserting fr uh, in from the front q dot push front we are inserting three q dot push front four we are inserting from the front okay so now there are four elements let's see how it's working q dot uh, q dot push back push back we are doing two pushbacks it means that we are first push uh, there are four elements one two three four first we are pushbacking one it means that one will insert from the back so we are inserting one again we have written two pushback two it means that two is also we are pushing two from the back uh, from here we are pushing two and now it it will contain one two now we are doing push front three it means that we are pushing element at the front so three is inserted at the front so now three will come in front for the four also we are doing push front four it means that four will be inserted at the front so we are inserting four so the output will be four three one two so let's check what will be the output so we are going to let's check first let's print it out what will be the output while not q dot empty so it will run till the q is not empty we will do c out q dot front so here also there are two operations front and back front will give you the front element and back will give you the last element of the dq so we are printing q dot front and we are popping so yeah i told you we can pop an element in the dq from front also and back also so currently i am using q dot front pop uh, so q dot pop front so here we can see that we are running a loop until q is not empty and we are printing q dot front we are printing q dot front so now we can see that 
we have written q dot pop front it means that when the first element will be printed then it will be pop from the front so let's run the code and check whether it's working or not so i told what will be the output is 4312 and let's check out what was the output 4312 and here we are getting 4312 so like this the push front and uh, push back works we here here have also seen q dot front q dot back and pop front is also that the we can pop an element from the front and pop back will work like this we can uh, pop an element from the back so hope you have understood q and dq str so if you are new to our channel please subscribe like and share and press the bell icon to get the regular updates so we will be discussing the next topics in the next video so until then bye bye